we're given this wave function right here, and we're asked to figure out what the amplitude is, and then the probability of finding it between this point negative a to a. Well, in order to find a, we're going to have to normalize the wave function, which involves taking, say, an integral from negative infinity to infinity, and then taking the absolute value of the wave function squared, putting that over dx, and then setting that equal to 1, meaning that there's a 100% chance of finding this particle somewhere between negative infinity to infinity. Now, if we were to square this wave function, then we would see it's just a squared e to the negative 2 absolute value of x and over the a right there. Now, before we set up the integral, let's realize that we do have the absolute value here. So we have to be really careful about how we set that up. So let's draw a little graph here of this function. So we can see this is going to be along the x-axis going from negative infinity to infinity. This is the zero. So let's start plugging in some numbers. If we plug a zero into this function, uh, realize this should be more like a squared, and then it's one over e to the two absolute value of x over a. So that negative isn't really like a negative. It just means like a, a fraction here. Let's go and plug in the zero here, and that's going to be like a one over here in the bottom, right, Ent entirely. So it's just a squared times one. So over, over here, you basically just get your amplitude, okay? And then as we move this to infinity, then this number here on the bottom is going to get really big, really big, and we're going to get a zero here. So essentially, this thing is just heading down towards zero over here. And then, of course, since it's the absolute value, it's going to do the same behavior on the other side. So we get this idea.